Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you a top 7 features of iOS 10 developer preview beta 1. So I installed the iOS 10 on my iPhone 6 and uh, I, I already made a separate video of how to install iOS 10 beta on any iPhone for free without any developer account, you can install it on any iPhone. So if you want to uh, check out that video, so I'll leave the link in the description also you can find anywhere on the screen. So let's start with the 7 features starting with the number 1 feature, a lock screen. So in iOS 10, so Apple has totally redesigned the lock screen. So when you first press the sleep wake button, so you will end up seeing the clock with a big, bold, beautiful, we can say. So if you swipe to the left, so you're going to see the widget section or you can see the true days view. So this is one of the best thing that I, I noticed in iOS 10. I personally, this is my favorite feature we're going to talk about more. So here in the widget section, you will see all the widgets, Siri app suggestions, stocks, and many, many other things. So if you swipe again to the the left you're going to be open the camera app if you press the home button it will going to bring back to this uh, lock screen page again so if you want to unlock uh, your iPhone so guys believe me it took me a lot of time after installing iOS and I used to swipe to the left like like you know a uh, basic thing that we do in iOS 10 iOS 9 so now in iOS 10 you have to press the home button and uh, it's going to be unlock the iPhone so there you go it's going to be unlock the iPhone. So that's the number one feature, a lock screen. So number two I'm going to talk about is the control center. So control center has totally a redesign. So what I'm going to do is you can simply swipe up from the bottom and now you can see the control center has totally a redesign. So uh, first of all, we're going to talk about the uh, two goals. Uh, there you go. You can see the five toggles, airplane, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb and obviously the rotation lock. So each toggle has its own individual color. So so let's say if I press the do not disturb, so it's going to be just by the purple color, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in the blue color and airplane mode will going to be in orange color. So that's very, very great to see in iOS 10. So also you can see the Air, AirPlay screen so you can mirror your iPhone on Apple TV and the AirDrop and uh, some bunch of shortcut apps on here. So you can also see the night shift. So the main thing is if you swipe to the left, now we can see a dedicated a shade I can say dedicated shade for the Apple music or any media playback so now you can see you can simply play the music from here and it's very really great so at the bottom you can see one arrow down arrow like this if you press that one so it will actually going to show you what actually the device uh, is set to as a playback as output so in this case the iPhone is set as an output for playback so if you simply press this one so there you go it, it will going to be show you no playing on iPhone. So if you connect your headphones, uh, that will going to be show you headphones is connected, something like that can be show the message on here. So that's the control center. So it got a overhaul uh, redesigned. And uh, number three is a widget page. As I promised, we can talk about more. So this is a widget page, and still we can uh, search uh, spotlight. So this is a widget section. So this is very, very my favorite feature. So the widget section is amazing so you can see a lot of widgets you can also press the uh, show more or show less you can you can also get that one so if you click on this one so you can simply uh, zoom in and zoom out like that so there you go so a lot of widgets you can add it and if you come to the bottom of the page you can see a one uh, a button like edit button if you click on the edit button so you're going to be also add a many many uh, two goals on your on your widget section so that's come now as number three a widgets page so and number four or number four is a redesign a stock app so Apple uh, mainly uh, redesigned the apps like app, uh, Apple News and the Apple News got a overhaul, a very good, beautiful display. So Apple itself called the, the main agenda of iOS 10 is big, bold, beautiful. So everything you see on uh, any app, so they are, they are, they, they look like a bold, you can see it's like, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's like very, very big letters and the, uh, the text for the phone is really very great. And personally, I love that another, uh, the overhaul design that got is an Apple Music. So the Apple Music got an overhaul design so I'm going to be uh, show you. Uh, if you first open the Apple Music and you're going to see uh, the basic shortcuts down that music so that will be show you what other music is present on your iPhone and if you go back you can see the playlists, shortcuts are recently added. So if you click on the browse so that will going to be bring up all the uh, pages of your uh, uh, it will going to recommend all of the information. So you can also search from here and uh, 
there you go it's a very big and bold it looks very beautiful so personally the apple music is also amazing so uh you can see the i'm playing the music here so if i click on that one so it's going to be jump right in so if i press the uh, play button so you can see uh, the album art will going to be pop out and if you click on the album art we're going to be go in so if i scrub through the video so now you can see there is some changing is happening in the album art so that's a quite animations so but it's not that smooth let's say because it's since developer preview one and there are a lot of boxes there still so but anyway it's good to see an iphone um uh, an apple music so it's very great so that's an apple music and some of the apps is also redesigned like photos so uh, the photos got uh, some search button here so you can click on the search button to search the photos also you can also see See the memories is a one tab that been added so I don't have any photos uh, at the moment to demonstrate so anyway the photos is very very uh, great app and uh, the Apple News is also redesigned and one app uh, that I noticed some changes is there in clock app so if you click on the clock now you can see the I don't know this app is I don't know is exactly this is only the app that has the dark animation I don't know because maybe Apple is planning for the uh, total and night mode like a black and white combination so in clock up I noticed there is a one option the stopwatch is added so if you click on the start now you can see the beautiful uh, rotating uh, the stopwatch thing it's amazing and you can also find the timer and if you swipe to the left you can also see the uh, uh, counting view also that's uh, the redesigned apps in iOS 10 and uh, number five is the maps so maps is also got uh, redesigned so but there is some specific feature that I notice in maps that I personally uh, love uh, in iOS 10 so what I'm gonna do is so when you first open the maps you can get the search bar so click on this one so let's go and search for Los Angeles so if I click on the Los Angeles there is one option called the uh, flyover tour so if I click on the flyover tour notice what happens so let me go ahead and do the brightness for you there you go. So th this will gonna be very very a killer feature. So that I ever seen in any apps. Even the Google Maps cannot offer this much of 3D things. It's actually uh, taking me the tour of inside the Los Angeles. Even it works with many many big countries like London, Sydney, Hong Kong, and many many other countries. You can see it's showing it's showing me a staple center. So that is the uh, number five feature that I I personally love. So. Uh, number six is the iMessage. So the iMessage is uh, really, really uh, much improved. So the iMessage, uh, if you plus the iMessage, so I'm gonna go ahead and chart this iMessage. There are a lot of things is added in iMessage. So uh, I'm not gonna be go deep into it through it. Possibly I'm gonna make a video of iMessage, a top five features like that. But anyway, I'm gonna briefly talk about the I iMessage. So let's say the first feature that I like is emojification. Let's say hi there, and I'm gonna chart message. I'm happy here like write a message so if I type this message if I press the emoji so it's going to be a scan uh, the letters and you can replace the letters instead of using the emojis that's that's very great and you can send it like that and even one of the micro features like you know uh, this is a digital touch message you can simply send like this hi and it's going to be go uh, like that so that's that's my favorite feature and you can also send an invisible link like happy birthday or something like that by adding many many effects so we press this one and it's going to be say and go with gentle and let me go with uh, let me go with invisible let me go with gentle so if I press this one, so that's gonna be send him to the uh, this this kind of effect. So that is my favorite feature in iMessage. So I hope I'm gonna be make a video of iMessage soon and stay tuned. And the last but not the least is a Spotlight and Siri intelligence. So uh, the Spotlight is insanely improved. So let's say if I'm gonna access the Spotlight on my home screen, simply swipe down like this, I can access the Spotlight. So what's new in Spotlight? So the Spotlight has a built-in a deep learning technology that Apple calls. So let's say what I'm going to do is I'm going to type, uh, let's say if I want to install the app called Snapseed, which is not there in my iPhone, and I'm going to type Snapseed. So look what happens. The Snapseed is actually, it found on here. So let me go ahead and brightness. There you go. It's, it's actually showing me the App Store. I can simply go to the App Store and it will jump right back into the App Store page. And uh, that's, that's, that's very great. So, you know. Uh, you can simply jump right back into the App Store and uh, you can simply install it from there like that and you can once it's done you can simply close it 
and the animation will then become like that. So that is uh, Spotlight Search. Also, the Siri intelligence, the Siri is insanely improved. So I'm not going to be uh, show all of these demos because it's still a beta and made it buggy buggy. And uh, yes, these are the, my top seven features. And additional features are like animations. The folder animations is completely changed. You know, look at this. There's no more. I can. It's no. All the home screen will gonna become zoom in and zoom out and simple and elegant. And only the folder will gonna come at zoom in and zoom out. So these are the uh, top seven features. I'm still discovering uh, in iOS 10. So and as soon as I found any information like many beta 2, I'm gonna be updating you too, guys. So these are the top seven features of iOS 10. So if you really like this video, please give a big thumbs up button down there. If you don't like it, please just like. And also don't forget to subscribe and. Uh, Thank you for watching this video. Until then, goodbye.